Hello friends and welcome back to Dew News. I am your host, the King of Dew. And here we go right into a market update. Uh, Bitcoin down 2.5% right now. And uh, basically it is blood in the streets today, guys. If we take a look down the list, there isn't much standing out. Litecoin uh, slightly up. Um, Stratus just a little bit up, probably just because there's some good news. And I'll cover that in a second. And uh, Ant shares popping, and can you blame it after the disaster that is uh, Ethereum today? Uh, guys, I'm I'm a huge believer in Ethereum, a big fan of it. But man, today is embarrassing. Today is not a good day for Ethereum, and I I would like to see some very quick, uh, swift decision making and action about uh, the the situation going on with our blockchain Ethereum right now. Economy. Uh, up quite a bit, but besides that, anything in the top 30 or so, just red for days. So, great buying opportunity, and uh, we'll see how long this trend lasts. But overall, if uh, considering anyone who's been in the market for even just two months, you're doing just fine today. A little pullback isn't going to hurt you. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, total market cap is 109 right now, and the uh, Bitcoin gaining some dominance back. Uh, money moving out of some other coins. Uh, Bitcoin being a little bit of a safe haven right now and a little bit of chaos. So a little update. We're going to go right to it. The Coinbase essentially, uh, you know, transactions are starting to move on wallets and things like that. It looks like it's trading again. Um, things look normal. Um, I expect to, uh, you know, find some news on what actually happened now that everything's back on. So uh, you'll be looking for that in the next uh, few hours. Um, you guys may find out about it before I do um, as it's getting close to bedtime around here. So tomorrow, um, hopefully I'll have some more information though for you guys on what exactly went down. Um, as we know, there was a sell-off, a market sell all the way down to essentially one penny uh, instantly on GDAX today, so Coinbase shut everything down, and we still don't understand if it's a hack, if it's on accident, if it's a bug, and we're going to just have to wait and see. Um, we will find out soon. So uh, we'll move on from the Coinbase update, and uh, this is some big news, and part of the reason Litecoin is seeing any green today. Uh, people are holding on tight. People want to hold on for 40 more days. Ooh, that's a long countdown. Um, so MIT.edu has put this up. This is uh, essentially the Lightning Network countdown, if, if you had to guess. Um, and uh, that's pretty much a pretty good guess based on uh, the consensus in the community that that's what this is. So um, pretty cool. It looks like there might be an address there if you want to, uh, want to help them out, those MIT students. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, awesome, awesome. So that's uh, that's in the works. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, maybe uh, set up your phones with the with a countdown so that you can you can be there for a little a little bit of history on August first when it comes to the Lightning Network. Okay, moving on. Um, we actually have uh, Comcast, Disney, and NBC Universal in the news. Um, I saw this one on ETH News fantastic place to read about the news um, but I think what's interesting is you know they're looking at blockchain technology but it was the statements that they made it was the specific statements that that were made and I'll go down and I'll read this to you and if you listen closely you'll ask yourself where have I heard that before so I'm quoting here each blockchain participant's data would stay in their own systems and they would continue to manage the protection and privacy of their users. We're talking about online advertising here, guys. The technology includes a series of encryption and write management layers that would result in a system that lets blockchain participants in the platform ask questions of each other's data without having to access or take possession of anyone else's data to get their marketing questions answered. Hmm little bit of marketing research so that's a little unusual right maybe uh, or or are they talking about tracking are they talking about user privacy 
This new technology approach would make data-driven video advertising more efficient and consumer data more secure. Hmm. Sounds familiar a little bit. We'll work with the participants in this initiative to improve ad planning, addressable targeting, execution, and measurement to ultimately create even more value for the television advertising industry. Sounds a whole lot like BAT. Basic attention token. Are these guys talking? I have no doubt in my mind that uh, if the CEO of BAT wanted to speak with anyone of any importance at almost any corporation in America, he would probably get the meeting. So it's a completely speculative guess. It could be anything, to be honest. But I am a professional digital marketer, and the way that they're talking about addressable targeting and execution and, me and measurement in regards to things like video, um, the only thing that I come that comes to mind is similar types of uh, concepts that BAT was presenting to measure and assess one's attention on a web page. It sounds like they may be wanting to do that for the TV. But let's be real, isn't TV basically all digital now? So can you include in that type of um, layering? Can you layer in the tracking technology into video? Fascinating. So anyhow, I just wanted to touch base on that. Um, you know, there was no specific blockchain mentioned. But let's be real, like, what's the most likely? Is it going to be any surprise when these companies announce that they're a part of the Ethereum Alliance all of a sudden? Just something to keep in mind. Fascinating. Um, awesome news for Waves. A little bit of Waves news. Uh, let's go take a look again at how Waves was performing on this news. So Waves taking a little dip right now and not, not really responding quite yet. But um, the news was released today, and maybe people don't quite understand how big of a deal this is. But Waves platform launches a USD gateway. So uh, if you're not familiar with Waves, I'm just going to go ahead and read this for you real quick. Waves is a decentralized platform for la launching crowdfunding campaigns and issuing digital assets. Okay. So essentially today they um, announced that it's going to have a USD gateway. It's now live in the clients. I checked it. And uh, basically, Wave users can deposit USD, and that's dollars, US dollars, via the secure gateway, and basically get a token in return that is 100% backed by dollar reserves. Hmm. This can be held, transferred, exchanged for other tokens quickly at a low cost, and withdrawn back through the gateway into the traditional financial system when required. So this is kind of a big deal, guys, uh, especially on a day where Coinbase in particular is um, hurting a lot. I couldn't have bought anything if I wanted to today, right? Um, so having more options available to put USD into... Let's be real. It's not even, even about cryptocurrency, right? Like, it's about blockchain technology, like... You know, don't forget that Ethereum, Ether itself, it really isn't a cryptocurrency, guys. It's, it is a asset. It's an expense. I, I, I think it's a true expense, personally. You need gas to run your car. You need gas to run this platform. Um, if I'm a business and I'm using a lot of gas consistently, like a trucking company of sorts, right? That's how that's how I see it. Anyhow. I gotta be able to put USD in here, even even to use it, right? Like if I'm programming applications, experimenting with um, a decentralized app for my business on Ethereum, it's kind of important that uh, it's classified that way and uh, that I can get my money in there. And it's just something to think about. Um, I think that we definitely in this community talk way too much about cryptocurrencies, and we shouldn't even be using the word currency whatsoever. Um, it shouldn't it shouldn't be so closely associated with currency, uh, especially the blockchain technologies. Um, you know the use cases are yes very familiar to what we call in the normal world 
currency. Um, but we've kind of dug ourselves this crazy hole by doing so, to be real, right? So, um, and we often have to dig ourselves out in everyday common conversation um, because of it. And that's just a small little personal opinion. I don't, I'm not super strong about it. I just think that um, it's something to consider as a community um, in the way that we're talking about these things. I try as often as I can to uh, make sure the divide between a blockchain and a cryptocurrency is clear. Um, oftentimes it's very blurry depending on the chain. Um, but, you know, to each his own, and I respect anyone who, uh, you know, whatever you choose to call it or however you want to talk, talk about it. I just know that um, I've had a lot, a lot more success both on this channel um, and uh, in person um, talking about blockchain technology because it's something that makes sense to people much, much easier than talking about a currency. It's just such a wide gap in their mind and in their imagination to try to fill when you basically have one reality and that reality is the one currency you've used your entire life to do everything. It is the currency you go and you slave at work all day to get paid out in, right? It is what keeps the roof over your head. So I don't blame them. I don't blame people for, you know, that want to talk about currencies because they want to replace it and um, with digital currency that's, you know, not a fiat and all that. Like, I totally get it. Totally get it, guys. So, um, anyhow, just a slight little rant there for you guys on something that I've been thinking about a lot, a lot lately about. Um, especially for tax purposes. Like, this, is, this stuff is like assets and like uh, expenses, you know? It, um, it's in no relation to traditional Forex trading. The markets don't move and respond in the same light or in the same way um anyhow i could go about that uh for days maybe i'll do another video on that sometime or probably more in like a live chat we can have a good conversation about it i'd love to have a conversation with you guys i do need to schedule a live chat i'm crazy busy right now in my personal life both at work work is unbelievable right now and uh this channel is getting out of control uh yeah, I have expectations to uphold at this point. You guys are coming in by the droves, and I really appreciate the support um, very, very much. Um, Stratus update. Stratus. Mm. That, uh, Stratus is quickly becoming a lot of people's favorite blockchain, and I, and I can't blame them. Real, actual, uh, tangible um, proof of work rolling out. I don't see uh, this hype train stopping anytime soon. Um, and, you know, I don't even, under, you know, I, I talked about how it's up right now. It's in the green. I'm not surprised it's not cooking more. Uh, maybe it's because it was just released uh, yesterday. And, uh, again, Stratus, maybe it's just not being translated into all the languages. But let me tell you, we got the Breeze update coming soon. And uh, the, Bree the Breeze update is pretty interesting. Um, I encourage you to go uh, read about it on their website. You can learn a little bit about how they're going to have master nodes and uh, proof of stake. Um, and uh, they're pretty proud of their first C Sharp wallet. So something to go check out. But it's actually the stuff at the bottom that really like makes sense to us, the, the, the regular people that aren't going to be programming a whole lot. And um, the first one is that the, the Azure certification is a huge deal. I've talked about Azure, Microsoft Azure many times, and the blockchains as a solution um, that, that they offer. Um, and uh, Stratus is making some very good progress here by uh, essentially offering a full node certification program through Microsoft Azure. Uh, that's a big deal, guys. That's a very big deal. We already know that Stratus and Microsoft are working together and things like that. Um, a little more closely than some other coins that just happen to be on the platform. There's something happening here. There's there's something truly happening here. So, um, there th it's going to simplify deployment for developers around the world, um, and uh, it's great. It's just going to make it easier for people who are developers to get their master nodes up and running really quickly and easily, um, and essentially um, start start contributing start developing on this platform right away so that's really exciting um 
After that, I'll actually read this. Uh, we have been actively working in designing a strategy to onboard developers on the Stratus platform. In the coming days, we will publish a survey to help identify C Sharp .NET talents in our own community and beyond. This will be the start of an awareness campaign among developers supported by our own Stratus Champions program. More details will be shared shortly, but for now, please spread the word that we are looking for the best C Sharp talent out there. Make sure you complete the survey if you're a developer. Okay, so I like this approach. I really like it, guys. This isn't a hype approach, right? This isn't this isn't a a dash uh, approach. You know, this isn't a social media retweet tag. No offense, a great campaign, a huge success, excellent job, Amanda. Uh, huge uh, success. Uh, and you guys deserve uh, the credit, and, and you guys are doing great. Proof is in the pudding based on the price of Dash right now. But I, I, for me, in the type of solution we're talking – okay, so that's a cryptocurrency. Dash is a cryptocurrency, right? Uh, true, and tr uh, true and true over and over again. Here we're actually looking at a true blockchain. This is an actual software technology blockchain, right, um, meant for developing dApps on. They're doing the right thing going after developers. They want to get the best. I really, really like this, guys. That's all I can say. I'm not telling you to go invest. I just like what I'm seeing here. I like what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're consistent with their updates. Proof of concept. Proof of work. I just don't know what it's going to take for this thing to get valued properly. But... Um, you know, even today's update, I think it's a bigger deal than, than people think, um, short term and long term. And uh, again, the price is slightly reflecting that. But it's got a long ways to go. I truly believe that. Um, there's a lot of good things happening here. So make sure you guys go do your research on Stratus. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on anything I talked about today. And before you go, I've got one last exciting. This is exciting. I'm actually, actually, I'm, I don't get excited about ICOs. You guys know that about me, right? I am the most critical ICO person you'll meet. But here we have 10X coming out this week. Go take a look. I like it. I like the, uh, the team. I like how um, organic the development has been. Um, I like this one. Be very careful. There is a giant warning. That let this be a public service announcement. Uh, make sure you're getting on the correct website. Okay? Very important. So, essentially, it's a, it's a card. We've seen payment cards before, but essentially, you know, it's going to take all kinds of different currency, right? Your Dash, your Ethereum, your Bitcoin, your ERC-20, and allow you to pay for it, okay? This is fantastic. It's a payment platform for blockchain assets. Holders are gonna get a percentage of the fees from this. This is the first card, guys, that I'm actually very interested in actually getting for myself. Like. There's a lot of them out there, and there's a lot that look like scams, appear to be scams. This is one that gets me excited. It's in two hours, uh, two days and eight hours. Sorry, two days and eight hours from the taping of this. So uh, we've got some time. Do our research. Do our homework. Let's get at it, guys. Let's vet this one out. Let's leave comments below. Let me know what you think about this particular ICO. Are you going to be in, or are you out? And why? Please let me know. Uh, let's talk about it together. We're such a small little niche group here. It's important we share information and help each other make wise decisions. Um, you know, there's giant whales out there that are probably going to try to attack this one too. But we need to try to figure out, is this, is this the right vehicle investment for, for me? We need to ask ourselves that on a personal level and as a group. And uh, let's support each other and help each other out on this one, guys. This one's truly exciting. 
and I hope you'll check it out. And uh, man, look at that, guys! An exchange fee of zero percent. It's crazy. These here's the actual fees. If you want to like dive in on the fees and truly understand it, check it out. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it from me. Um, as always, uh, I am the king of dew. And I uh, hope you appreciate this news. I try my best to bring you uh, a wide variety of news in the crypto and blockchain sphere. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. Uh, give me a nice thumbs up as well. Um, and, of course, leave a comment. And uh, follow me on Steemit. If you're not on Steemit yet, you're missing out on one of the most exciting cryptocurrency uh, blockchain technologies there is. Um, I've got all my friends on there now. And it's going pretty much viral. If you actually go look at the growth rate, the acceleration of the growth rate of the platform, um, it's literally just exploding. And you have to get over there. Uh, you got to get over there and check it out, guys. So go over to Steam it. I don't get anything for I don't get anything for sending you guys over there. I do get something if you upvote my post. So I definitely appreciate you uh, upvoting the post and giving me comments. And um, yeah, check out Steam it. Um, I want to say thank you to some of the uh, the donations that I've been receiving. Uh, most uh, most thankful. Um, I don't even know what to say because I don't know who's doing it. I don't know who's doing it. There's an anonymous person and groups of people, and you guys are so kind and uh, so generous. Thank you so much. And then um, I want to thank everyone using my Amazon links down below in the description. Holy cow. There have been uh, so many orders. I don't even know what to do. Um, I don't know what it is you guys are ordering, but I want you to know that I notice it means a lot to me. It doesn't cost you anything but a click, right? Um, and but it really is helping a lot, um, you know, to help pay off all the equipment for uh, doing this channel, uh, the screens and the stands and the microphones and all these things. I I actually might break even someday on this um, at the rate it's going. So, <laughs> which is exciting. So I really appreciate it, um, and it inspires me to continue to invest both time and money um, back into this so uh, thank you and I hope that you are getting what you are uh, essentially paying for or donating for so really appreciate you guys so very much um, and uh, hopefully um, hopefully we can hit 2,000 we're on our pace to 2,000 this weekend so please help me out please make sure you share you know go post it on a reddit or a, on a forum um, help me help me push it out there so that we can try to draw that 2,000 mark by this weekend. That's our goal, and we're trying to hit 300 on Steemit. So we're getting there, and I think that we can make it happen. At the pace we're going, we're actually on pace. And so uh, if we work together and your guys' help, uh, we'll, we'll make it. So I really appreciate your guys' help. And as always, I am the king of dew. May the force be with you. You guys have a good night.